Okay, here it is right here. This is the impact layer right here. The boundary layer is kaolinite clay. Now, how did that get there? It's right over the top of coal, which is coal is carbon. Carbon is the remains of cellular membranes. And then all of the organic volatile stuff goes away and the membranes remain and they were crushed and destroyed as the floodwaters settled on the land and washed all the little skin particles away from all of the big giants and formed this layer. And not only that, the iridium, which we know is dense in the stuff that Dave Hudson scraped off the side of the hill. And I know why I collected on that side of that hill, because he was in a very geologically active area, high amount of hot springs. It boiled it out from the tissues in that specific area. That only happens in specific areas. You have to know where to look, and you have to know where it settles, and you have to know how it particulates. And then I think it may have something to do with borax. We'll look at that in a, in a bit. But this is exactly what I would expect to see. There's the mudstone, the mud, <laughs> mud fossil stuff right above. I'm sorry, that's what it is. Let's look at what kaolinite made of. Now some people say kaolin, some people say kaolin. I say kaolin. I pronounce things the way I think they should be pronounced. These are all skin colors. And these particular are, are are so fine. Those are like the fine skin on your face and so forth, on a on a lady's face or a baby's face. The very very fine fine skin. Now, and it comes in the colors of the body. And clay is embedded. The clay layers of skin. My skin's old, but people have good flexible moving skin. They have these balls and these straps in their skin. And it's all clay amongst it, and it's what they call ball clay. <laughs> I'm serious. Plasticky clays. That's what they are. See that? That's kaolin clay right there. Kaolin, whatever you want to call it. And that is blood. And women crave this when they are pregnant. And they want to eat clay. It's 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 ubiquitous around the world. All cultures do this. And I gotta tell you something funny, this just came back to me. <laughs> I'm saying I'm talking with Jody about this kale and clay. I says, yeah, I said I'm, I'm doing this research. Women all over the world they want to eat dirt. And she said, what are you talking about? I said they this is dirt. That is what we would call dirt. It is skin. <laughs> but it has all of these the, the chemicals that you need as a woman in your pregnancy. So I said, yeah, they love it, they love it, they love it. And she said, no. And I said, yeah, I'm telling you. She said, that's insane. So I said, well, that's what it was. And so now, here all of a sudden, she realizes that she also loved this stuff because she was, she said she would drink like a, a big bottle of, of um, K.O. Pectate. <laughs> Something like that. Whatever it was, it was um, it was it was made of this. And she said and she hates the stuff, but she couldn't help herself from drinking it. I swear. I got I got to talk to her, and make sure I find this out. She's on a on a, a trip right now. But I mean, I'm telling you, this is this is too much. It just came back to me. It's not a world. All right, that's kale and clays. You see it? That's the microbes. You see that? That's the kaolin clay. And I always talk about a bazillion different layers of skin. That's skin. And it has a bazillion layers, and that is skin. You know, they say, oh, you got two or three layers of skin. Like hell, you have thousands, thousands. You are a fortress of skin. Now, this just talks about kaolin, straight down the line, but it also has the red and has the white and has the gray, which are the different pigments, really. 
All right, it's very hard to show the skin easily, but this is the kaolin clay skin around hair. That's the hairs. And that is from a, a red-skinned type of person, like, you know, a Caucasian probably. Now let me show you something that is from somebody with extremely white skin. Hold on. See that? That was somebody with very white skin, and those are the hairs. And that's the black blood, and that's the red blood. And that is the pattern of the hair which you just saw. Alright, and that is out in Crowley Lake, I believe it's California. They take the kids out there and they tell them that animals built these. That is the stubble of the hair sticking up from that creature's face. There's another one Crowley Lake, that's one of those nasty black hairs that sticks out of there. <laughs> that's the normal hairs, but that's obviously not quite normal. And I guess one of you, I have some with moles. They have the hair sticking up and the mole is surrounded. I mean, just gigantic things. Everything else is worn away, but the mole <laughs> withstands the test of time. Let me see if I can find it. I mean, I, I, you know, I just, I, I, I laugh. But I can't help it. This, I'm in a universe that... It's not even, it's, it's just, it's a different universe. Everybody's in a different universe now. Some people are, are so afraid to look, they will never get out of the myth that they were forced to live in. In other words, if you didn't say, I agree with you, when you were in school, you, they, they would fail you and destroy your life, and you would just, you'd say anything. It's like extortion. They should call it an ugly instead of a degree. Anyway, that's a mole. Those are the hairs. Well, son, if you want to last forever, turn yourself into a mole. <laughs> I mean, they are hard to get rid of, I can tell you. I had a couple of, I mean, it's a wart or something, I don't know. But they, those babies hang on tight. 